in Rome. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so thrilled to be here. I'm here with my husband, Hunter. If you're new here, hi, my name's Allie. I do a lot of fashion vlogs, uh, vintage and thrift hauls, uh, fashion hauls, some lifestyle and travel content, as well as some home decor. We are right now in Rome. We're in Italy for two whole weeks, y'all. Holy cow, I'm so excited. We just got in yesterday, um, yesterday, Saturday, yesterday afternoon. And y'all, the jet lag is so real. I woke up this morning and was so, I just felt so delirious and <laughs> my eyes were all puffy and my face is puffy and I just slept so hard. We're gonna go grab some breakfast and I'm excited to bring y'all along for this insane vacation. This is like our honeymoon that we never got to take when we got married back during COVID slash I'm turning 30 in November. So this is also kind of like a little birthday trip. So I will see you guys at breakfast. I'm wearing this really cute, bow detail um tank top from zara that you would have seen in my zara haul i can put that somewhere on the screen so that you can go check that out i just posted that right before we came to italy and this really cute mini skirt that i thrifted i think it's by ann taylor or something like that and then these really cute adidas that i got at nordstrom rack right before we left let me show you cute we're gonna go shop. I think we're gonna go to the we Swatch the watch store. Yesterday. Huh? I said, because we saw the Coliseum yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, we walked around a lot. We saw the Trevi Fountain yesterday. We walked over to the Coliseum, our hotel that I can link down below. Uh, it's nothing crazy fancy or anything like that. It just, I guess, the job done and it's very centrally located to all the sites. So. Okay, I just wanted to show you. The view from our room. We have two of these massive windows that are so common in Italy if you've never been. <laughs> so we keep, there's one over there as well. But look at this view, y'all. There's a the little restaurant outside. There's so many bars and restaurants down here. Okay, first sip of Italian coffee in 10 years. It's like a hazelnut whipped pastry. I don't know, it's so good. He's already got one. Getting another one. Yeah. They just came out with them too. Got the swatch going around. What are you getting? <laughs> Sweet. We've just been walking around. Dude. Hunter got his watch. Show that in the bag. Pasta dish that we had last night with the shrimp in it. So good, I'm craving it right now. See, I want to try like real. I know, I do too, but carbonara tonight for dinner, let's try a more traditional version. Okay. Because that one had a little seafood twist to it. Yeah. So which good. Which I enjoy, but... Okay, we're at Mango, and we're going to try some of this stuff off. I got this really cute black mini dress, and this really pretty long one with lots of fabric. And then a couple pairs 
is going to do a little unboxing for us for his brand so, new watch this is the swatch watch this is one of them i've already got the blue one like this it. is another one they just came out with called mission to earth lava edition so let's see how it looks i feel like so you've done cool. this before <laughs> done, it done it once when you got the first one in vegas yeah so this has all the different ones so like they have polar lights too this is lava. That's what you got, right? I got lava. And then they also have desert, which is more of a... Wow. Look at that. Here's the sticker. Oh, nice. So satisfying. <laughs> so satisfying. Nice, babe. Yeah, cool. Yeah. That's Maybe good. Just a little bit. It's a little better, yeah. It's good. You don't have anything like that yet. Not yet. Building up Pretty your, cool. your watch collection, collection, huh? A little bit. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Hunter's a big watch guy. He loves luxury watches and all that. And this watch store, they only have them in a few countries around the world. And in very specific cities. So he got his first one, this one, in Miami a couple years ago when we went. And now he's got this one in Rome. No, they didn't have it in Miami. They sold out. We had to get it in Vegas. Oh, Vegas. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, because we went, we went to Miami. Miami to get the first one. And I think we it. went every day, like four days in a row. And they didn't have them. They didn't have any of them. See, here's the regular ones. So I have this one. Mm -hmm. And then they came out with these recently, which are only um, Earth missions, but they're all new colors. And I was surprised they had them in stock. Yeah. All the colors he wanted from this one, the bright colors were all out of stock. They just had the yeah. neutrals. They had the they had the, the older the older colors. The mm -hmm. ones that I wanted were all gone and mm -hmm. they only had the new colors. And I'm surprised they had the new colors. I thought they would have sold out by now. It's not quite a true red. It looks like a burnt orange. Yeah. Wait. Mm -hmm. It's very different. Let me grab my other one and we'll do a color comparison. So here's my blue one, but you can tell I've, I've replaced this powder blue strap. It came with a white strap. I replaced it with this rubber strap. I think I'm going to do the same thing on this one. But do you like the orangey color? I'm going to try to get it to match the orange color. So you can see theirs is more of a plastic strap. It's obviously stitched. It says Speedmaster on it. Mission to Earth. And then it's got the Omega symbol here. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm going to swap this band out because this feels nice at first glance. But when you wear it for a long time, this part rubs me. Mm -hmm. Where like this it. one, it's silicone. super small, small, super simple, doesn't rub me very much. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap it out over here. So Pretty cool, cool, babe. Pretty cool. Happy for you. Thanks. <laughs> Day one. Oh, and just a side note, if you do come and you want to buy one in another country, like Rome, you have to fill out this form and they take your passport number and then you don't have to pay any tax on it. It's tax free. 
you have to have tourist. you have to have either your physical passport or you, a picture of your passport. All right. Well, <laughs> it's been you know, like a few hours since I last picked up the camera. We came back to the hotel room to just chill for a second, and regroup before we left for a bit to go grab a bite, like a little snack slash a little something munchy before dinner later. I ended up falling asleep. How long was I actually asleep for? About 45 minutes. 40 minutes. <laughs> 40 minutes. <laughs> Took a little jet lag snooze while Hunter just hung out here. And Hunter just booked our tickets to go to the Vatican. So anyways, here in just a few minutes, we'll get ready and pop back out to the streets and I think I might get another April Spritz. <sighs> I got the ticket. I cried when I saw the Sistine Chapel. I thought it was so beautiful. That doesn't surprise me. First time. <laughs> you cried at a McDonald's chicken nugget commercial. No, I hate McDonald's. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, but you cried at the commercials. So we're going to go do that. I tried to make sure I didn't move while I was sleeping so I didn't ruin all my makeup and have to redo it because I really don't feel like it. Anyways, we'll see you shortly. <laughs> Oh yeah, this looks so good. This is funny. stopped and got a cappuccino for takeaway and I got this really yummy <laughs> I don't know if you can see it but I got a really yummy amaretto almond cookie to try and y'all the jet lag it's so real. Hunter's not even awake right now, really. We <laughs> didn't really film a whole lot since we left. Uh, what was it called? Monte Casino yesterday. We got back around like 5 or something and showered and got in bed and didn't leave the hotel until like 9.30 this morning and we passed 
out. It wasn't the jet lag. It was staying out till four in the morning well, <laughs> and then having to be at the van ready to go to Monte Casino at eight o'clock. So yeah, I got so we two, got two hours, hours of sleep. sleep last or the night before last. That's and it was that. It. And I think also the jet lag. I think we just because we pushed really hard to not let it affect us. So anyways, we're finally awake and we're going to go walk around. I think here in a little bit, we're going to go to the Vatican. We're going to go to the museum um, this afternoon. And this morning, we're just going to walk around, see what we get into. But we're officially back on the vlogging. <laughs> We've just been like so out of it the last 24 hours. Um, but maybe later on at lunch or something, we'll stop and tell you about our friends that we met. Because after a while, a couple days ago, we stopped vlogging as well. And that's a whole other thing, so. I'm wearing this really cute, um, it's like an old swimsuit top that I use as like a bra top. And this Princess Polly, it's like a tie that I cut really short just to have a cover up. And then I just got this really pretty knit skirt at H&M um, recently. And then we just got me these cute little Hermes dupes, their leather sandals from some local shop here in town. And my thrifted uh, Mexican leather bag with all my stuff in it. Cookie's really good. It's like a little amaretto almond cookie. I've discovered it needs, <laughs> you have to dip it in like a coffee or something. Because it's very hard. Do you want to try it? I'm good. I'm gonna, we're gonna go eat lunch. lunch yeah. Time. We're gonna find a spot to eat. We started wandering outside of the, like the main. Shit, city district. Shit. <laughs> Shitty district. <laughs> Shitty <laughs> district. <laughs> <laughs> the city district. The shitty district. The main city of Rome. I feel like we're in the shitty district. There's a speed on that side. Oh, this is okay. T squirrel. That was a turtle. It's a turtle. <laughs> We've discovered that well, we thought that there were no speed limits here because people drive like maniacs. If you've ever been to Italy, um, but since yesterday we've discovered that there are speed limits. They just don't I just don't because they don't really adhere to them, do and they? I was asking Allison, you see police everywhere. Yeah. Which is great because it makes you feel safe. But, but they don't then do all they do is just stand around. They don't do anything. It's like they pr it seems like they protect a lot of like government style buildings or and very monuments. and monuments and very populated areas. And that's it. So. But then here's the other weird thing. So in the States if there's an emergency vehicle behind you, they turn their lights on and their sirens on and it means, hey, they're responding to something, get out of the way. Here, they just leave their lights on. So they'll be behind you and their lights are blinking, but nobody gets out of the way until they turn their siren on. Yeah. And there's no respect for personal space here. Oh, zero. Which I don't... <laughs> oh, my bad. Which I don't remember from when I was here 10 years ago at all. But yeah. But... It is very beautiful, and the food is so good. Um, the gentlemen we met yesterday were amazing and overly nice. Yeah, I feel like we have to do a whole recap the last couple days because we haven't been the best at filming and explaining what we've been doing because it's been kind of a whirlwind. But we maybe took some a lot of pictures yesterday, yeah. but not a lot of videos. Yeah, I took some videos yesterday. Okay. But maybe when we go to lunch, we can tell them about like we met this really cool couple on our second oh, yeah. full day here so not yesterday but the day before so random too oh yeah we went and got drinks and maybe we'll go I'll tell you that maybe i'll even put pictures and stuff in here but 
It was really sweet. We made some new friends that are from Canada. So, yeah. Megan is spoiled. Make money. It is a shitty way to get money. We're used to the AC and organized chaos. That was just well, chaos to get to the museum. You figured the one place that I used to have AC is in the restrooms? Yeah, the restrooms at the Vatican Museum. Gross. Ugh. Oh well, we made it. Okay, we are back at the hotel. We called both of our parents. <laughs> and it just updated them about how our day's been and going to see the Vatican. My battery died while we were there and Hunter came in clutch right before we got into the Sistine Chapel and then I forgot to pack my extra memory card. So that's fun. And then my period cramps hit so motherfucking hard like oh my god i don't know what it is ever since i went off of birth control last august on my second day of my period without fail i have the worst cramps and it's so annoying but we're all good now um we went and saw you know is it saint peter's basilica we saw saint peter's was it square out in front of the vatican and it was really fun we were hanging out here on the bed just because we've walked almost nine miles today, which I'm so glad about. But we're gonna go grab some pizza, probably some just like local Roman pizza. We will come back in a bit and we're going to our dinner reservation that I made before we came. And I'm very excited. This place is at a hotel and it's in a garden. That's what the restaurant is. It's called Le Jardin de Rossi. But I'm very excited about that. Get dressed up for that. So I will bring you guys along because I didn't the other night. I need to put on my lippy real quick. I need to sharpen this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Tilbury Lip Cheap. Oh my gosh, this is the <laughs> this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheap in the color Hot Gossip. It's really good. The other day when we went and got uh, Aperol spritz and bites at that place called I think it's called Pan e Salume or something like that. There was a couple that sat behind us and we both thought that they were American because <clears throat> of their accent and then we realized that they were Canadian. Anyways, long story short, 
We ended up talking for a long time. They ended up moving from their table behind us to the table next to us. We were there for probably three hours, right babe? It was just so fun and we had a lot in common. They're our age and uh, had a lot of similar views on things. It was just really cool and really fun to meet people from a different country and which, you know, is one of the fun, incredible parts about traveling to other countries is getting to meet and have camaraderie with other people. And so they met us up, met up with us after dinner and we went to this uh, delicious place called Bacano, I think. I'll put it here on the screen, some clips or video or photos that we took at dinner. It was so good. Oh my god. It was, we had the cacio e pepe. It's a local, it's a very famous Roman pasta dish. Oh, it was so good. We had that and I had a glass of wine and then we met up with them at dinner. Just had a blast. Uh, and the bar that we went to, the rooftop bar was called Jim's, Rooftop Jim's Bar. And I'll put a clip of that as well here for you so you can see it. <laughs> it was really cute, really pretty, and closed that bar down. Yes, there was an Irish pub downstairs called, what was it called? Trinity College. Trinity College Pub. And it was just downstairs, and it was such a vibe, you guys. I will put some videos of that here, too. But anyways, we stayed there. We had a few beers and drinks and just had the best time with this couple. They were so fun. And then closed that bar down. <laughs> They ended up convincing us to go with them to McDonald's. <laughs> we walked over to the Trevi Fountain and ate our McDonald's at like 3.30 in the morning. And it was just so fun and so sweet. And we were just having the best time. So we got, what, two hours of sleep? I got two and a half. Oh, my God. We went to bed at 4, 4.30, and we were up by 6.30. And when you're almost 30 or over 30, it... It is hard not getting sleep. We're gonna bring you to dinner and to this well, aperitivo. You have memory cards. Yes, I changed out the memory card already. Okay, good. And yeah, it's been really good, super fun. It's been really sweet to have this time with Hunter um, and love seeing him experience Italy and everything because he loves history and he loves architecture because he's in buildings. So, but yes, I think it's time to go get Aperol Spritz number four. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, you should definitely go give me a follow. You'll see all the daily things that I'm doing. For this trip, I've been posting over on Instagram um, every single day, stories, recommendations, reels, posts, like everything, the whole enchilada. So go check it out, give your girl a follow so that you never miss anything in between when I post my videos. <laughs>
All right, well, it is now Wednesday morning. We are just about to leave the hotel room and check out. We're gonna go see if the reception desk will hold our bags for us for a little bit so we can go grab something to eat um, before we catch the train. So we're gonna get an Uber to the train station, which is like a, I think it's like a 30 minute walk, but we've got some bigger luggage. Anyways, we're gonna go do that. We'll see you here in a bit, or if not, we will see you in Florence. Did you like Rome? I love Rome. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Food, the people, um, there's a lot to see, there's a lot to do. It's pretty good. I liked it. I'm still partial to Florence, but maybe that's because I lived there before. Probably. But we'll see what you think after you've tried both. Okay. Over the we'll next do a days. recap on the plane on the way home. Yes. That sounds good. Okay. To Florence! Uh -huh. 